A claim of right in property law occurs when a person believes he or she has a rightful claim to property. In the adverse possession case Carpenter v. Ruperto, the Iowa Supreme Court assessed the validity of a claim of right staked on a neighbor's property. Virginia Carpenter and her husband bought a house in Des Moines, Iowa in 1951. An undeveloped lot bordered their property to the north. This lot contained a cornfield that didn't reach the border of the Carpenter's property. The Carpenters weren't sure exactly where their northern property line was, but they knew the dimensions of their lot and that their property didn't include the cornfield. The Carpenters feared that the undergrowth on the empty lot might catch fire or harbor rats. They also wanted more space for their kids to play. Knowing they were encroaching on the neighboring property, they cleared several feet of the lot north of the property line. They graded it, planted grass, and proceeded to use it as part of their yard for many years. They planted peony bushes, installed a propane tank, and constructed a driveway that encroached five feet onto the land. Abraham and Beverly Rosenfeld purchased the lot in 1960 after it had ceased to be used as a cornfield. They used the land to store junk but otherwise let weeds grow freely. They permitted the carpenters to keep a horse on the empty property. During the 60s, Virginia inspected a plat of the lot and knew its dimensions. Charles and Edith Ruperto and Tom McCormick purchased the land from the Rosenfelds in 1978, by which time Virginia Carpenter's husband had died. The Rupertos and McCormick knew that there was a potential boundary dispute because Carpenter's propane tank and driveway were on the property. They tried to come to an arrangement with Carpenter but were unsuccessful. Carpenter sued in equity seeking a judgment that she'd established ownership of the land through adverse possession. She argued that for more than 30 years she'd been in open, exclusive, hostile, adverse and actual possession of the property under claim of right. The trial court held that a claim of right had to be made in good faith and that Carpenter hadn't held the property in good faith because she knew someone else owned the land. Accordingly, she didn't hold the land under adverse possession. Carpenter appealed to the Iowa Supreme Court. 